All right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and begin our vocabulary routine. Our first word today is consequences. All right, so this boy had to face the consequences because he was late to the store. It had already closed, okay? So what does the word consequences mean? Turn and share with your partner what you think it means. Give me five. Say the word consequences. Give me five. Consequences means the outcomes of an event that happened. Consequences means the outcome of the, of, of sorry. Consequences means the outcome from the event that happened. Consequences means the outcomes from the event that happened. Consequences means the outcome from the event that happened. Repeat. Teach it. Consequences means the outcomes of the event that happened. So we can have positive or negative consequences, right? It's what happens because of something else taking place, right? It's the outcome. So with your partner, let's decide our motion's going to be that your partner did not do their homework last night. Let's give them a consequence. Go ahead. What would that consequence be? Give me five. Let's move on to our next word. Our next word is seismographs. Say the word seismographs. Seismographs are instruments that measure earthquakes. Seismographs are instruments that measure earthquakes. Seismographs are instruments that measure earthquakes. Repeat. Teach it. Seismographs are instruments that measure earthquakes. Seismographs are instruments that measure earthquakes. So, just like this little needle moves up and down to measure earthquakes, let's go ahead and you and your partner both are a seismograph, and you move up and down, up and down, up and down, measuring the earthquake. So, one partner is the seismograph going up and down, while the other partner is the earthquake shaking. So you're just shaking, the other partner's just shaking, while the other partner is the seismograph going up and down, up and down. Show me, do the motion for seismograph. Very nice job, I like that, give me five. Our next word is evacuation. Say the word evacuation. Evacu evacuation means to move to a safe place. Evacuation means to move away from a dangerous area. Evacuation means to move away from a dangerous area. Evacuation means to move away from a dangerous area. Repeat. Teach it. Evacuation means to move away from a dangerous area. Evacuation means to move away from a dangerous area. Give me five. And just like this photograph here, let's act as though that we are evacuating. Grab your belongings and let's put them in the car. Let's go, come on, make sure we have everything. There's danger coming, there's a tsunami. There is a hurricane. We need to get out of here. So let's go ahead and put our things in the car. All right, show me. Very nice job. Give me five. Our last word today is widespread. So if a hurricane happens, there could be a widespread a flood. So over a large area. Okay, 
widespread. Say the word widespread. Give me five. Widespread means to happen over a large area. Widespread means to happen over a large area. Widespread means to happen over a large area. Repeat. Teach it. Widespread means to happen over a large area. Widespread means to happen over a large area. Good. And for our motion for widespread, I want you to move your arms out like this, all the way out, like you have wings. It's widespread. So move your arms like this, widespread, just like that, widespread widespread show me all right give me five let's practice all of our words now okay and the motions that we learn consequences what was our motion oh yeah you forgot to do your homework show me give me five Our next one was seismograph. Remember, one of you is shaking. The other one is the seismograph going up and down, up and down. Show me. Seismograph. Give me five. Our next one is, was evacuation. Moving from a dangerous area. Get your belongings and show me. Get those belongings in the car. Good job. Give me five. And then our last one was widespread. To happen over a large area. Large area. Widespread. Widespread. Give me five. All right. Don't forget to practice your book, your vocab words on Blugit. We will have a vocabulary quiz tomorrow. All right. Make sure we're being good and being respectful to the sub at all times. I hope you guys don't miss me too much, but just know I miss you, and I'll see you soon after fall break. And I hope you have a wonderful vacation from school for two weeks. But don't forget to stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.